Welcome to George School Friends. My name is Rohan Arjun, and I'm the Director of Admission and a proud alum. Hi everyone, my name is Kim. I'm one of the co-directors of admission here at George School. In addition to working in the admission office, I'm an advisor, a dorm parent, and most importantly, the parent of a George School student. Rohan and I have a lot to tell you about George School, so we think the best place to start is at the beginning. We're very fortunate to have a global community here where students are living and learning with peers from all over the world. Over the last 10 years, we've had 85 countries represented. George School is a co-ed day and boarding school of about 540 students located in Newtown, Pennsylvania and founded in the Quaker tradition. George School is a Quaker school. Quakerism is a religion. Does that mean everybody at George School has to be a Quaker or practice Quakerism? Absolutely not. Only about 10% of our students and faculty are Quaker. As a Quaker school, we focus on the core values of simplicity, peace, integrity, community, equality, service, and stewardship. The George School curriculum allows you to chart your own course. You'll find academic rigor and choice here. We offer 150 courses, more than 25 of which are AP. Or you can choose to be an IB diploma candidate, which about a third of our student body chooses to do. George School is one of the few boarding schools in the United States that offers the International Baccalaureate, or IB curriculum, giving students the opportunity to pursue the IB diploma. Regardless of the courses they choose, students will find an emphasis on problem-based learning, discussion-based courses, research, and informed creativity. Key elements of a George School education include learning how to listen and communicate through difference and understanding viewpoints that are different from your own. Just as our curriculum is not one size fits all, neither is the George School experience. We ask all of our students to be engaged in deep learning in the arts, participate in team sports, get involved in service, and more. You will learn to listen to one another, to work through conflict, and to come to a common understanding. As a result, when you graduate, you'll be prepared to be a better leader and a better global citizen in the workplace, in your home, and in the larger community. In addition, students have access to dozens of clubs. Clubs help students to build upon their interests and passions or find new interests. One of the best things about George School is that you are never navigating all of these options by yourself. You will have an advisor to guide you through all of your years at George School. Your advisor helps you to plan courses, celebrate milestones, and helps you through challenging times. This is in addition to supportive faculty, coaches, dorm parents, and more. The adults in the George School community are here to help you to live and to learn to be your best self. You're going to have a significant amount of academic support. Our Learning Center helps all students with study skills support, drop-in math help, writing center, peer tutoring, and more. SAGE, student prefects, and our counseling services help our students to navigate the growth from adolescence to young adulthood. Now that we've told you about the academic program at George School, we want to tell you a little bit more about student life. And one of the biggest questions we get from students who are interested in boarding is, what are the dorms like? About half of our students live on campus in nine residential communities. Most of the rooms are doubles with shared bathrooms and community spaces. Live-in dorm faculty and student prefects provide guidance, maintain safety, and build community. Every week you'll find dorm gatherings casually and formally to help you to learn more about yourself, your peers, and the world around you. The other big question we get is what is the difference between boarding and day students? The answer is not much. Day students are always here, participating in the full life of the community, hanging out with friends, eating in the dining room, team sports, club meetings, even study hall. Day students have prefects too, and most day students have two to three of their meals every day on campus. It's normal to find day students on campus on Saturdays and Sundays for weekend activities and student planned events. So the bottom line is, the difference between boarding and day is what works for you. Rohan and I have spent a lot of time telling you about life at George School, but we also need to tell you about life beyond George School. And the first step in that is something that might already be in the back of your mind, the college process. 
Students from the class of 2020 are attending 98 different colleges worldwide. Large research universities, highly selective universities, small liberal arts colleges, arts schools, international schools, public, private, and everything in between. Our college counselors all come from admission offices in highly selective universities and bring a wealth of experience. We invite more than 150 college and university representatives to campus each year. We host a college fair and we make sure that we take care of specialty needs of students. Our college resources are available to students in their first year, though the college process truly starts in earnest in 11th grade. As the college application process intensifies in junior and senior year, our college counselors work one-on-one -on -one with students, guiding and supporting them every step of the way. From narrowing down your college list, test prep, interview prep, essay prep, financial aid assistance, navigating the world of college athletics, and art portfolios. Basically, our college advisors do it all. Now that you've had a chance to learn about George School, we want to make sure you know how to apply to George School. At George School, we have a no-stress application process. Yes, we do look at your grades, your teacher recommendations, and your test scores, but we're equally focused on if George School is the right place for you and how you're going to contribute to the community so that we're learning from you as you're learning from us. Most students apply to George School through the standard application online, or SAO. Some students do apply through other platforms, and if you're wondering if your application will work, let us know in the admission office. We'll work with you, we aim to be flexible. We'll ask you for some brief written responses. We'll want two years of transcripts. We'll ask for your current math and English teacher to send a recommendation. And we will ask for an interview. Think of it more as a conversation though. In addition, we will ask you to complete the SSAT, or the Secondary School Admission Test. And if you're a non-native speaker of English, we will ask you to submit the TOEFL, or the Test of English as a Foreign Language. George School is committed to enrolling a student body that is reflective of the world that our students currently live in and will live in the future. That includes socioeconomic diversity. In fact, more than 50% of our student body receives some form of financial aid. Families seeking financial aid do need to complete an application, and every step of the application process is outlined on the financial aid section of the George School admission website. We want you to remember that every financial aid application is reviewed individually. We know that no two family circumstances are the same. Rohan and I just shared a lot of information with you. And now we're looking forward to getting to know you and to answering the specific questions you have about George School and the admission process. Thank you for listening, friends. We look forward to answering your questions and helping you to learn more about George School.